Welcome back to another video. We are in Chongqing and we're going to visit Chang'an's most advanced factory. It's not just Chang'an's most advanced factory, it's probably one of the most advanced car manufacturing plants in the world. So before we go into the factory, we've come to Chang'an's showroom. And I was here five years ago. We're at here at the uh, Chang'an um, Automotive. We're actually at the R&D center at the moment. Some of the vehicles look really pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm liking the look of some of these. Wow, the lineup of cars is so different. We have the Avatar 06, we have the Deeple S09, and wow, look here. This is the S07, and this is the one. This is the model that's coming to Europe this summer and later we're gonna be test driving it. And this is their most advanced factory using 5G and AI. And it represents the highest level of automation and intelligence in Chang'an's manufacturing network. The factory was launched in January 2023 with a total investment of 10 billion RMB. It's designed to produce 280,000 vehicles, including models like the Avatar 07, Deepal S05, and TUN E07. It's the world's largest 5G enabled car manufacturing plant. Utilizing 44 industry leading manufacturing technologies, the plant has achieved 100% automation for all key processes with over 500 robotic arms in the welding workshop and more than 150 on the flexible production line. The factory integrates virtual and physical operations, aiming to reduce costs by as much as 20%, and is expected to evolve into a dark factory with fully unmanned operations for key parts in the near future. The plant is a flagship for Chang'an's move towards intelligent and green manufacturing. So what's really striking about these factories is just how modern, clean, and efficient they run. These, um, trays with all the components on are automatically brought to the production line by the AGV. So each car going down the production line can be all slightly different. So a customer orders a car with a certain interior specification and it will automatically have the tray of parts for that specification traveling down the line right next to the um, car body. And that's all done in the AI and the automatic AGVs in the factory. It doesn't rely on people having to choose the parts themselves. The tray of parts will be only for that specific body. You can see that these have already got um, all the, or a lot of the interior fit already done. It's got the display panel in there. Um, this young lady's fixing on some, um, the uh, logos at the back. So what you can see happening behind me, this is an AI automated camera system. And as this car comes down the line, it checks many parameters on the car to make sure things have been added correctly, that they're in the right position, that it's the right color, etc., etc. And this gives a, a really comprehensive check. And as long as it's okay, it passes through here. And if there's any issue, it will give feedback so the problem can be corrected. Here we can see the adhesive being applied by robots, the glass roof for the car. The robot then picks it up and transports it, puts it over the top and bam, and it goes. So behind me is where they're attaching the wheels. And again, it's all done by automation. I came to this factory five years ago. And at that point, it was one of the most automated factories I'd seen. I've never seen a factory with so many robots ever before. For me, this is probably the most automated factory I've ever seen. It's a bit like being in a Terminator or a Transformers movie. It's just so cool. And but this time, five years later, it's on a different level completely. Not only have they got automation in the, the battery um, assembly part of the plant, they have massive automation in the final assembly. I've just never seen anything like this. And I'll give you an amazing statistic. This factory employs 1,200 people. They manufacture 280,000 cars per year. That works out at 233 cars per person. That statistic just blows my mind and it shows you how China can make cars so competitively. 
and this is where the cars come to the end of final assembly and roll off the production line. So that concludes our visit to the Chang'an factory here in Chongqing. Now we're going to test drive the Chang'an Depot S07 around the streets of Chongqing. So let's go. Okay, so this is Chang'an's Depot S07, which we're gonna be taking you around Chongqing in today. So let's go get in. Ready to go. It's a nice drive. I tell you what, Chongqing roads are some of the craziest roads ever. So far, I find this a very comfortable, easy to drive car. It's really, really nice. And this S07 is the model that's heading to Europe. And it will be there this summer. Yeah, I have all the important information that I need on this heads up display right in front of my eyes here. Chongqing always gives you a great view, doesn't it? You know, for a city skyline, it's just amazing. So we're here in this location and right behind me, there's three iconic buildings. You've got raffles in the middle, to the right you have the clock tower and to the left you have a beautiful temple. So behind me is the Chao Tianmen Bridge here in Chongqing and it's a double layer bridge. The first layer is just cars and the second layer is cars and Chongqing's metro system. How cool is that? So behind me is an example of the crazy road system here in Chongqing. I'm gonna be driving around that very, very soon. So the roads are so complex in Chongqing. If you miss your turn or your exit, it take you about 15, 20 minutes to get back to where you're supposed to be. We're driving on the road that we saw from down below. And this is just like nothing else I've ever done before. The roads are on just so many levels. It's just unbelievable. I just can't get my head around this. We have a really complex junction in the UK called Spaghetti Junction in Birmingham, but it's nothing compared to this. So this is a really famous Wang Hong spot. It's where the metro in Chongqing passes through a building. And a lot of people shoot some really funny videos here. Look at the metro above us like racing, it's like Tron. <laughs> Passing by Hong Ye Dong, probably the most famous tourist spot in Chongqing. Not only is the Deepal S07 a great EV, but you can also use its electricity to power your appliances. And we're gonna show you that right now. We're gonna go and eat some hot pot. So what you need to do is plug this into here, plug this into here, press here, press here, and away you go. How cool is that? So when I'm having hot pot, my favorite is beef. Almost done. In the dip it goes. Mm. That is good. Mm. What could be better? Eating Chongqing hot pot powered by the Depart SO7 with such an iconic view behind us. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.